Hey everyone. All right, anyone new to Opal Oracle, welcome. Anyone returning, hi. All right, Virgo. <clears throat> I actually already pulled your cards. A similar energy came out, but the story has definitely changed, okay? I sense that one of the main messages is about release, okay? Now, although this is a beautiful backdrop, right? This farmland, etc. I'm sure you can kind of hear that noise in the background. What that actually is, is um, this is a little campground, but there's actually a miniature kind of family um, amusement park over here. It's the old wooden roller coaster. You know, so if you hear anything, it's, uh, it's just an external energy, right? Like this plane going by. There's a lot of external things that are affecting you. Rather, there's a lot of external things that are that they can affect you, right? But it all depends on how you choose how they affect you, okay? Does it affect you in a way of acceptance, right? Teaching you about acceptance. Does it affect you in a way of annoyance? Right? You see that duck? <laughs> Cute. Okay. So, let me tune in a second. Wow, that's a bird. There's a lot of birds around here, too. They're all squawking, you know? A lot of conversation happening, right? Communication. I see earth, air, and water here the most. Fire in the future. Okay. Now. Your inner child is helping you be able to under comprehend something. Okay. Mentally. Like, like you discover a new... Uh, thought process okay about where it is that you're going you discover something something is revealed and I think it has to do with that release it's like if you take away if you take if you say I've been saying this to everyone this during this time frame but it seems to be important for everyone we all are one nature is everything right so spiritual law you know but the thing is, is when you say no to something, you're saying yes to something else. Like you say no to the annoyance, right? As an example, we'll go back to this. You're saying yes to acceptance. You're saying yes to maturity, right? Because I see sometimes your inner child thinks that it knows everything. It, it, it. It's not that it doesn't help you. It still is in that realm of helping you discover something, helping you see the truth of the matter, okay? Like the truth the truth is revealed to like through your inner child and they inform you. They're like whispering to you about what about where you're at now and about how you understand it and the structures that you're building. Okay? I see that during this time it's important um, and you know that it's important for you to be definitive okay for you to have like uh, I heard the word regulated but that could just go back to the natural order of things okay to, to nature's law spiritual law like not you know not playing into the mind games of what we've been told we are supposed to be within society like how we're supposed to interact how we're supposed to feel um what family really is what is togetherness you know what is relatability There was a message in your other reading also about <clears throat> um, acceptance 
Your inner child wanted to let you know. It's funny they just run this roller coaster and there's nobody even on it. You know, it's like sort of a practice run. Like, okay, I know this thing works, but I'm going to use it today. So let's let's test let, let's test this out. There's something about and that's where it goes back to not thinking that you know everything because of whatever has happened in the past, right? Because again, that would be your inner child. And this is in your ego too. You have both these children um, thinking that they know everything, okay? In a way um, that you already learned everything, right? Virgo. The guy love you to death and we all have Virgo on our charts. But to, to view life from a position that like, oh, I already know everything, I'm the teacher, not the student. When you, when you deduct yourself from the beauty of being the student, what you actually become is a dictator. Okay, and it, um, that isn't any fun. Okay, and part of, I th and I've been talking to you about this for a while, but part of, from what I can gather of the Virgo aspect, especially Pisces being your opposite, the 12th sign, closing out this ultimate karmic cycle, the karmic cycles you're participating in, okay, is about um, you having more fun, you smiling more because you're serious. You're very serious. Um, and that doesn't matter if it's sun, moon, Venus, whatever. But I see for a lot of you the um, the watery aspect of yourself. It's like the thing, the structures that you've been building that that have been were built for you. I see having to do um, a lot with the mother and how she taught you about relationships. Okay. Also the father, but how there was a separation between the mother and father, right? And that actually um, tweaked the way that you relate to other people in a social sense. So you're coming to understand something about that during this time. Now, I already see that in the future, um, you also had this message in your other reading that I pulled earlier, where there are certain people, your inner child, again, it's good for you to remember that it is to be accepting, not annoyed, by what has happened what is happening and what will happen and that also goes back to this being in your ego okay if you again if you think that you figured it all out okay you think you figured it all out then <clears throat> then that's not any fun okay <clears throat> Like I asked once how long deja vu could last when I was having it. And I was thinking about how we, like why we say deja vu and what happens if you don't say deja vu, like how long does it last? Well, mine lasted three weeks. And I wasn't like able to talk during that time either. Like whenever I would go to speak about how this deja vu was catching up, 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 up to the point where <coughs> I was actually ahead of time like five seconds or so <clears throat> it wasn't any fun man well man human it wasn't any fun when you know all the answers it isn't fun so this goes back to accepting where it is that you are keeping focus on the future is very important what the structures that you are building with the people that you are building with now are well Everything's happening for your greater good, whether it feels good or not, okay? Whether it feels challenging, whether it feels you're accepting of it, whether it feels annoying, whatever it is, okay? It's all for your greater good to teach you a lesson. Now, the only thing that can block you is your ego thinking that you don't need to learn it or you don't know how to learn it. You'll never learn it. You'll never figure it out. That's sort of the ego. The ego is the thing. that blocks natural law. That blocks the flow of things. 
the momentum, right? The fun of it. I sense that your friend circles in the future, um, I would say for the majority of you, I heard the word lose friends, you, you, but the thing is, is you never lose anything, right? You, you just, before we have everything already, okay? You can't lose a person, you can't lose love, you can't lose um, home, you're always home, right? Can't lose a job, because what's just, what's a job? A job is duck. A, a job is um, a place where you exert energy and through that energy creates a current, right? It creates currency. You can do that any old time, okay? Which creates value, right? So value in yourself. So you can do that whenever you want. So the point is, is that I guess acceptance is a really big word during this time, okay? It's important for you to keep faith. The undercurrent actually is, is that you understand magic, that you understand, you have the ability to understand that you know that there's a big step coming. Um, but your strength is, is that with each step forward, we always have two choices at very least. We can behave this way. You know, ego, feed the, feed fear, feed what it is that we're afraid of, go into that dark place of, I can't do this, I, I, all the things that have happened in the past, um, this isn't, this isn't going to work, you know, that kind of mentality, because see, even I went to the negative first, or, right, you don't want to do that, keep, keep that in check, or, you can go to the position of um, deducing down to the smallest common denominator. Again, taking that analytical ability that you have, analyze the situation, <clears throat> digest what it is that's being shown to you, what it is that you are coming to understand clearly in your mind, right? The way you're thinking about it, how you're, how you're putting your energy towards the future, <clears throat> the way you're thinking about the future, okay? And then it's accept after we digest and then you move and then you move along. You can continue to move along and even while you're doing this process, that's kind of part of the Virgo challenge I think is because it's the hermit on top of the mountain. He doesn't move, right? He's kind of that's why you're still earth. You don't really move. You stay there until you figure it out. And then you move when you want to move. There's a stubbornness behind it. And that has, because you're ruled by Mer Mercury, it's all about the way you move in your mind. Okay, so it's important to understand your own person and how that relates. Again, it doesn't matter sun, moon, Venus, etc. Because I know that you want love. I know that you do not want to feel apathetic about relationships anymore right? Whether you're in one or not, your friendships, your work relationships, it doesn't matter. Particularly, of course, the relationship with yourself. Because when we deduce down to the, comma, uh, the smallest common denominator, what is it? What's left? You. And how free we feel in ourselves. How lucky we feel in ourselves. How emotionally fulfilled we feel in ourselves. Okay? Now, I heard the word lose friends again. So this can also just be that maybe people that were in your life before, you know what I mean? Because we all, people come, people go, it's part of the lesson, right? When we learn the lesson or when the, we've had, en we've gained enough information that we need to learn in this, in this life with that particular lesson, sometimes they can stay, sometimes they don't, 
that's it goes back to appreciation right because the thing is is when when things are taken away from us in a sense of you know like I, I gave a few examples uh, the last month or so of people that were like my friend Allie you know like I love her to death literally I would have I would have you know to death right till death do us part you know in my heart with her but physically speaking we weren't able to continue that friendship because um, we didn't want the same things anymore right it's not that I didn't I don't love her it's not that she doesn't love me it's not like we weren't basically family but the way we thought about things was were, were <clears throat> the way that we as we progressed along in life what happened was is we changed our perspectives of what life is all about about what boundaries are what 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 are what are your boundaries what are your your rules okay what do you find acceptable what do you find annoying and that goes back to knowing yourself okay now i'm i'm a little bit curious about the future um one more things take time I see that this kind of situation is going to be sort of, I heard the word resolved, um, but we have re and then solved. So something has already been solved, we're solving it again, right? Re, again, to solve again. Um, I see three months, something will be, like what, what it is that you're understanding, what it is that you're starting to comprehend is going to solidify, okay? in the physical realm within three months okay um there's a part of this where uh within a month or so maybe b before the end of the month you're going to um understand you're going to be less confused about something okay you're going to start uh viewing your emotional healing process and what it is that you're going through the new structures that you're building yourself, the new traditions, the new rituals that you that you perform uh, with yourself in this world, um, you're going to see it from a more creative stance. There's actually three pages here now, so it's really important for you to keep um, a childlike perspective. Not that you're not mature or responsible, but the childlike perspective is important so that you can understand that there is sweetness in life. Okay, that again, being so serious all the time, being that adult isn't, it's fine, but it's, you gotta smile, you gotta smile more. Remember when your inner child was the hermit? <laughs> Come on. Okay, I see that any of you, whatever your creative process is, it's really important for you to do that. Okay, to be a part of that. I expose yourself to that submerge yourself in that look at that goose you know submerge yourself in love know that you don't need this from anybody else it is here always all always always all the time all around you okay yeah sometimes the energy is loud and it seems not conducive to what it is ultimately that you want to the peace within yourself but th this is how we find more peace within ourselves is being more accepting okay i know you can do it you're the hermit all right i love you so much please take care of yourself